So I think one of the next big platforms in the live streaming space is gonna be TikTok, especially when it opens up access to more people. We've already seen some glimpses of what they're planning and what they're doing, but if you're planning to make TikTok your live streaming platform of choice, right now is actually the time to jump in and start creating content for the platform. So what we're gonna do in this video in this edition of The Grind is we're gonna talk about how you can basically optimize your live stream content or basically make your live streaming recordings that can go directly onto TikTok. All right, so what we're gonna do basically is we're gonna create an alternate recording that's already in the portrait mode orientation that TikTok prefers. That way it's easy to edit this and upload this to your TikTok channel. So what you're gonna wanna do, and this is especially important to have a pretty strong CPU because you're probably already recording your live stream or making a carbon copy. So you're gonna actually need to do another encoding process for this. So what I recommend is either you have a beefy CPU or you have a hardware encoder like NVENC or QuickSync or VCE. So pretty much you set up another recording profile and you're gonna set it to record another scene. So we're gonna have this specific TikTok scene set up. And in this scene, we're gonna add scene as a source and you're gonna add your live scene. So basically whatever you're outputting to the stream is gonna appear here. Now, what we're gonna do here is rotate it so that it's in the portrait mode orientation. So you're gonna space it out, you know, center it however you like. And then, you know, you should add some borders to the top and bottom. Maybe you can add some text like a URL to your stream or a lot of people kind of like do like this kind of like blown up version of the background. You can customize it however you want, but basically set up this scene. And then when you have a recording profile, start recording. And that's pretty much it. You'll be recording your whole stream. You'll have all your TikTok moments. And then when you're done, you're basically gonna drop this in your video editor of choice. Just rotate the video file and you already have a portrait mode recording. Just chop out the clips as you see them. So kind of like the ongoing discussion about live streaming on Twitch for YouTube, you're gonna kind of want to structure your live stream content to benefit you on whatever social media platform you're gonna be present on. So if it's gonna be on TikTok, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that, you know, you're creating TikTok moments or clippable moments that'll work well on TikTok. So, you know, do a dance or have a really good reaction to a game, react to a trailer, some important news, something, something that can be short form video content that'll play well on TikTok or you think will work well on TikTok. And another thing too, is if you have an active stream, active chat, and they're making clips and stuff like that, go back to your clips, download those clips, or at least know them as a reference point so you can take that recording and then upload it to TikTok. But pretty much just always be aware of like, if you have a good moment that's less than a minute, it should be going up on your TikTok. So one cool thing is that these recordings don't just have to be for TikTok. Any type of platform that can take these portrait mode videos, you should be uploading it to it. So, you know, Instagram stories, Twitter's fleets, you know, just chop up the videos into shorter segments and upload them there. You'll probably need to put them on your phone first, but basically spread this content in as many places as you can to get some eyeballs on you and what you're doing. And hopefully you get that viral moment that hits or probably ended up being on Reddit because Reddit's like where all the streams blow up, right? Anyway, let me know, like, have you changed your social media strategy to, you know, better accommodate TikTok or made a separate one just for TikTok? You know, what social media platforms have you seen growth on or have helped benefit you in your streaming career? Let me know in the comments, give a like if this video was helpful and share it as well. And be sure to subscribe for more ways that we can stay on the grind.